So first we'll start uh, with House File 2528. It's a Hackbarth bill. It's uh, the David Dill Memorial Trail established. And uh, Doug, if you want to come forward and say a few words and uh, bring anybody with you right now that wants to speak to this issue. Anybody that wants to come up, please come forward. Judy. Welcome to the committee. State your name and who you represent for the record. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. My name is Doug Franzen. Uh, I'm an attorney lobbyist representing the Minnesota United Snowmobilers Association. And I am here to speak in support of this legislation. It's very straightforward legislation. Uh, it's to honor one of your colleagues, uh, the late Representative David Dill, who was a great champion of all outdoor recreation, motorized and non-motorized. And uh, we think uh, his legislative career, his life, um, certainly uh, does qualifies him for this honor. What we are talking about is taking existing state and a portion of Grant and Aid Trail that really traverses uh, Representative Eklund's district um, from International Falls to the end of it, which would be at the C.J. Ramstead uh, Arrowhead Trail. It would go, start at International Falls, go to Tower, go to Ely, uh, cut south of the boundary waters and again end up near the North Shore. Um, there would be some cost of signage and this bill accommodates this taking funds $10,000 out of each uh, of the ATV and snowmobile dedicated accounts. So ultimately it's we the users who will um, be in pain for the signage. Uh, there is no other cost to the state of Minnesota. These are multi-use trails. Some are only snowmobile in the winter, uh, bicycle in the summer. Others uh, permit other recreational vehicles. Uh, I've been authorized by our, our good friend Ray Boone to speak, say all motorized recreation groups support this. And Mr. Chair, I do have a map if anyone's unfamiliar with the uh, Iron Range. Oh, you have it there. Okay. Well, thank you. Um, it's a fairly straightforward bill, and I would stand for any questions, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Questions? Representative Constantine. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, how long is the trail? Gracious. You don't have to be exact. I was just kind you of know, curious as to. I don't. I'd say a couple hundred miles. Oh, my. That's a long one. Okay. It's, Thank you. Things get big up there. <laughs> Welcome to the committee. Please state your name and who you represent for the record. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, my name is Judy Erickson, and I represent the Cook County Chamber of Commerce and the Gitchigami Trail Association. And I just want to take a minute and just say thank you, um, Representative Hackbarth, for and others for for this bill. I think um, it's a perfect way to honor <coughs> former Representative Dill's um, efforts and work. Um, in so many ways across northern Minnesota and I worked with him on a lot of different issues and he was always very gracious and he worked very hard and um, I don't know what more I can say but I could say a lot but thank you um, for this bill and, and, I, and our organizations do support it. Very good, thank you. Questions members? Seeing no further discussion, this bill will have to go to the Environment Finance Committee, Representative uh, McNamara's committee. All those in favor of the bill signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, motion prevails. Uh, House file 2585 is uh, passed and sent to the Environment Finance Committee. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you.